Hello children. How are you all? I hope all are staying safe children. Children, in last class we learnt what is simple machine and some simple machine also we learnt. Okay, let's continue the lesson today children. Before that, as usual, let's do a small recap about what we learnt last week. Okay, then we'll move into textbook. Okay children. Children, before going to today's class, let's give a small recap what we learnt last week. Okay children. So last week in the show, renewable sources, non-renewable sources. So renewable source example in the sun, water, wind. Non-renewable sources, petrol, coal. Isn't it? So what are renewable sources? Renewable sources are the sources of energy that are replaced naturally over a period of time. Isn't it? So non-renewable sources that cannot be replaced once used is called non-renewable sources. Okay. Example is petrol and coal. So simple machines pass out the cup. What are simple machines? Simple machines are in the mark. Tools which are used to make our work easier. So we are very easy to easy to help the simple machines. So some simple machines are pulley, inclined plane, wedge, wheel and axle, screw, lever. This is the number one last class that text book in the padicho. So we will continue from lever today. So today we are going to read lever and what are the types of lever. Okay children. So we will read that from textbook. Please keep your textbook ready children. We will move to our textbook now. In last class we discussed what is lever and I told you to write all these answers, isn't it? Activity. So, from lever, we start today. Okay. I hope you all finished that activity. We'll see the answer today for it. Lever. Lever is a simple machine. Okay. A lever is used to multiply the force we give on an object. A lever is used to multiply the force we give on an object. Example, Caesar, Nutcracker and Piler. Lever in the Abina, number Kudukra force one the multiply panni object level the Kuduko. So a lever is used to multiply the force we give on an object. Example, Caesar, Nutcracker, Plier. Okay, children. The next one. Identify and mention the types of simple machine. Let's discuss this, children. Okay. And you verify whether you have written correctly or not. Okay. What is this, children? What? Wedge. Isn't it? Wedge. It has a, see, it has a sharp edge. It can be used to split materials. Isn't it? Wedge. W-E-D-G-E. You can write with the pencil children in your textbook if you have not written. Okay. The next one is, see, a ramp, isn't it? Inclined plane. Inclined plane. I-N-C-L-I-N-E-D P-L-A-N-E Inclined plane. Do you want me to write children? Okay. I'll write children. You can copy from this. Okay, wedge. The first one is wedge. W E D G E. Okay. The next one is inclined plane. I N C L I N E D plane. P L A. N E. Okay. What is the next one, children? You all love to play in it, isn't it? What is it? Yes. Caesar. Write it S E E S E E S A W S E E S A W. Okay. 
Next one. What is the simple machine called? See, it consists of a wheel attached to a small rod, isn't it? Okay, what is this? Wheel and axle. Wheel and axle. W H E L and axle. A X L E. The next one, pulley, P-U-L-L-E-Y. And the last one is, what is that? Bottle cap, isn't it? So what is the simple mission there? Crew. This bottle cap holds the, the screw here in the bottle cap holds the bottle and the cap together, isn't it? Screw. The simple machine is screw. Children, next go to the activity. Complete the table. I hope you all finished it. Okay, check your answer. Here, you have here the types of simple machine given and you have to give one example for each machine, simple machine. Okay, for pulley, what is the simple, what is the example, children? Crane, correct, crane. C-R-A-N-E, crane. For wheel and axle? Yes, bicycle. B I C Y C L E bicycle wheel bicycle wheel the third one is wedge example axe okay axe next one is Inclined plane. See here, there's a spelling mistake there. P L A N E. Actually, here it's given as inclined plan. Okay, you write it as you correct it as inclined plane. P L A N E. Okay. Write E there. Okay. Inclined plane. What is the example for inclined plane, children? Slide. Okay, slide, wrap, anything you can write, but write slide. The next one, lever. The easy example for lever is pizza. S-E-E-S-A-W. The next one is screw, sixth one. Screw. What is a simple example, children? Bottle cap. Yes. One more, pencil sharpener. You all will use that, isn't it? To sharp the pencil. Pencil sharpener or you can, you can write bottle cap. Okay. Okay. Now, moving to the next page then. Now we are going to study the types of lever. Okay. We are going to study the types of lever. Okay. To understand the lever, we must know the following terms. Load is the object on which the force is applied. So, in the types of lever, we understand the terms. That is the terms. Load, effort, fulcrum. Okay. So, load na it is the object on which the force is applied. For example, we hit a ball and hit a ball. And the ball is the load. Okay, Vama. Effort is the force we apply on the lever. Effort is the force we apply on the lever. Number one, the kick pun roll and the force put a roll and the ball move under the ticker. That's the one, the effort. Number could a force than number apply under force the effort. Fulcrum is the point on which the lever 
rotates. So fulcrum is the point on which the movement point. Okay. The lever rotates, the rotating point. Okay. Lever is classified into three types according to where the load and effort are located with respect to fulcrum. The three types of lever are class 1 lever, class 2 lever, class 3 lever. Okay, there are three types of lever, class, class 1 lever, class 2 lever and class 3 lever. Lever is classified according to where the load and effort are located. In the load on our kudukra force on angle locate I go at the respective of the fulcrum on the other on the place la marirko sharing la so load effort and fulcrum okay according to this the lever is classified into three types okay according to the position of load effort and fulcrum location of load effort and fulcrum okay the lever is classified into three types Let's see class one lever. Class one lever. When the fulcrum is between the effort and the load, it is known as class one lever. So see here, the fulcrum is in the center. On either side, you can see on one side effort, the other side load okay for example scissor see example scissors pliers scissor okay see here in scissors we are giving force here isn't it so that is effort and the object is placed here isn't it that is the load and where the wheel rotates here where is the joint here where is the uh, movement up occurs here isn't it in this point okay so this is fulcrum so effort load fulcrum the fulcrum is between the effort and load so it is known as class one lever see here a human face is given here it shows the movement of the head okay movement of the head see the spinal cord spinal cord joints here okay the load is here in front moving up and down okay that is the load fulcrum and this is the effort we are giving force we are giving okay this point is the force we are giving so fulcrum is between the effort and the load so this makes the movement of a head and see here the plier we are giving the force here, isn't it? That is the effort. The object will be here. That is the load will be here. And the fulcrum point is here. The fulcrum point is here. Okay, in the center. So fulcrum is placed in between the load and the effort. So it is class one lever. So what is class one lever? When the fulcrum is placed between the effort and the load. It is known as class one lever. Example, scissors, pliers, sorry, scissors, pliers, scissors. Okay, children. The next one is class two lever. When the load is between the effort and the fulcrum, when the load is between the effort and the fulcrum, it is known as class 2 lever. See here, the load is in the center. It is between the fulcrum and the effort. If it is like this, it is class 2 lever. For example, see here, lemon squeezer. So, we are giving the effort here, force here in this point. Okay. And the load is in the center. Number place pan the lemon every place pan the place pan also the alda load. Sharing la so the load is in the center and see the movement or movement point. It is here, isn't it? Fulcrum. Okay, that is the fulcrum point. Okay, so 
the load is between the fulcrum and the effort. Okay. So if it is like this, it is class 2 lever. Okay, children. See, this is the point where the lever rotates. This is the movement that helps you. This is the point that helps you. So that is the So that is the fulcrum point. Okay, children. The joint point is clear, the nut is clear, the point is helpful. It helps. Okay. So squeeze pan away, help pan. Okay. That is the fulcrum point. Okay. Va? Next one, the wheelbarrow. Look here. Number four, see, you can put a pole. Load one, the center lurker. Fulcrum is here. Wheel is here. Rotate agar. Rotating point is here. So moving point is here. So this is fulcrum. Fulcrum. Effort and load. Load is placed between the effort and the fulcrum. So it is class 2 lever. Here, see here, standing in tiptoe position. So, load is in the Load is in the joint part. In the uh, number part in the joint part. In the joint part, in the feet, in the toe part. The joint is in the joint part. Okay, wow. this is the fulcrum point, joining point where we move. Okay, we can able to stand in tiptoe position. Okay, the effort we are giving here in the calf muscle. Okay, effort, load, fulcrum. Load is between the effort and the fulcrum. Okay, so it is class 2 lever. Class 3 lever. In this lever, the effort is between the load and the fulcrum. So, in this type of lever, the effort is between the load and the fulcrum. Effort on the center lurko, load and fulcrum on either side. Okay. So, example stapler, tongs, broomstick, hockey stick. Okay. So, look here. Load, fulcrum on either side and effort in the center. Look here. Effort, load, fulcrum and stabler. In this, load is, will be kept here, isn't it, between these two points. Okay, so load. Okay, see here, effort will press here, isn't it? So effort. The force we will give here at this point. So effort. See the rotating point. This is a rotating point. Number one, the uh, stapler get the open panni mood more in the rotating point. This is the rotating point, isn't it? So this is the fulcrum point. Okay. So effort is placed between the fulcrum and the lever. Okay, children. So this is the class three lever. Now here, when activity is given, name the load, effort, and fulcrum. So, what is this actually? Caesar, isn't it? So, I want you to number it as 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. You all number it as 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. Okay, what is number one? This is Caesar, isn't it? So, what is number one? Think, children. I told you this is Caesar. Okay, so what is number one? Yes, load. And the center point is two is fulcrum. The rotating point is fulcrum, isn't it? And the movement point in your joint part is the nodule then your cosis are okay. Va? And the rotating point one the two that is the fulcrum point. And three is effort, the force we are giving. 
effort. So look here, fulcrum is between load and effort. So what type of lever is this? Class one lever, correct. Class one lever. Okay, children, what type of lever is this? Class one lever. Okay, coming to the next one. The next one is hockey stick. See, when you hold a hockey stick, children, the hand with which you hold the stick at the top end, on the top end, so that point serves as the fulcrum. That's the fulcrum. Okay, that point serves as the fulcrum. Okay, in your hand, the other hand with which you catch the stick. Okay, in the middle, okay, is at the end of the force arm. So, it is the effort. Two point clearly, that is the effort E. Okay, there only we are giving force. Okay, and the other end of the hockey stick, I mean, what do the arm, the load lies. So here, the load lies, load. Okay, children. So, number one is load. The second one is effort. And the third one is fulcrum. So here, the effort lies between the fulcrum and the le uh, fulcrum and the load, isn't it? So class three lever. So write it, children. One fulcrum. One fulcrum. Two load and the third one is obviously it is effort isn't it so load between fulcrum and effort it is class two lever sorry children it is class two lever okay class two lever okay children Okay, children, textbook exercise we'll discuss in the next class. With this, I am finishing this today's class. Okay, children, I want you all to complete it in the textbook and read the lesson again and again. If you have any doubt, please text me, children. Thank you, children. Children, today we learned what is lever. And what are the types of lever, isn't it? Class 1 lever, class 2 lever, class 3 lever, everything, isn't it? So, with this, we are completing our lesson today. Children, next class, we will do textbook exercises. Okay, children, if you have any doubt, children, please text me.